In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your white shoes. Now I know that these shoes aren't entirely white, but they have a good deal of white on the front and on the side. I usually do not buy white shoes for my kids. I just thought these were so cute and she's only been wearing it for a few weeks and I'm already starting to pay for it. I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can clean your white shoes. And I do this because I know that you may not always have the same kind of cleaners that I have, and so I like to give you options. But first, welcome to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. My name is Diana. I am the Germaphobe. My partner in crime is Janet. She's not in the video today, but she is the clean freak. On this channel, we love to give you cleaning tips, clean with me, cleaning product reviews, and also, uh, more recently, we've been doing some extreme cleaning. And I want to invite you to hit subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all of our future videos, but for now, Let's clean these shoes, here we go. So as you can see here, these tennis shoes are pretty dirty and they belong to a fourth grader, so naturally they should be. So the first step is to brush off any loose dirt. That loose dirt just turns into mud and it can make your shoe cleaning job a little bit harder. So I like to take a toothbrush and just lightly brush away any of the loose dirt. You could also just take the shoes outside and bang them together and that works too. So I'm gonna start with two options. And option number one is just using baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. So what you wanna do is take about two tablespoons of baking soda and then pour a little bit of hydrogen peroxide into the bowl. I don't need to tell you an exact amount. You just wanna create a paste with the hydrogen peroxide and the baking soda. So you stir it around until you get a consistency that looks like this. You then use your toothbrush or your scrub brush and you apply that generously to the dirty areas of your shoe and then you go to town scrubbing away. Don't push really hard with the scrub brush. You actually wanna let the tips of the bristles do the hard work and when you push hard, you wind up having the sides of the bristles scrubbing against the shoe instead of the tips of the bristle and I'm here to tell you the tips of those bristles are gonna do a lot better to getting into the nooks and crannies and cleaning out your shoe. As you can see, there's actually still a little bit of grass stain and this is still just a little bit dis miscolored. And I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. Don't, so don't worry, because we really are gonna get these shoes beautifully white. Let's move on. With the second shoe, I'm gonna show you option two. And I will be honest, option two is my favorite. And that is to use OxyClean. Here you can see on the left, original OxyClean. If you have that, that works fine. But I'm gonna to choose to use OxyClean White Revive. I think it does a really good job to help to get white things even whiter. But either one that you have will work. You then get a clean bowl, about two tablespoons of your OxyClean into the bowl, and mix it with enough hot water to turn the OxyClean into a thick paste. Just like we did with the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Again, you use your brush and generously apply that paste all over your shoe, and then use your scrub brush to scrub it clean. All right, so we have these two shoes here. From here, you have two options. Option one would be just to take them and throw them in the washer and let the washing machine remove the OxyClean or the baking soda, and then I would put them in the sun to dry. Now, if you really, really, really want to make your shoes especially white, here is where I would definitely, definitely get the OxyClean, and I will show you what to do next. At this point, you can do one of two things. If you are satisfied with how clean they have gotten, if the shoes are machine washable, just throw them in the washing machine and wash it in a delicate cycle on cold. However, if you feel like you want your shoes to get just a little bit cleaner, get a big bucket and fill it with very hot water and then add one scoop of OxyClean. Again, it doesn't matter if you use OxyClean Original or OxyClean White Revive, whichever you have is just fine. Take your shoes and fully submerge them into the hot water. You might have to use something to hold them down so that they stay fully submerged. I'm just gonna use my OxyClean container to, to weigh the shoes down. And then you wanna let it sit for about four hours or you could just leave it overnight. 
Now that they have soaked for about four hours, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. And oh my gosh, look how much cleaner they look already. Of course, they're soaking wet and still have cleaner on them. So I am going to go ahead and just throw them in the washer. Always make sure your shoes are machine washable first. I'm gonna set the temperature to low, put it on delicate and go ahead and start the cycle. Also, look at that water. Look how dirty it is just for soaking those shoes in there for four hours. Now that the washing machine cycle is complete, it's time to pull out the shoes and take a look at how clean they look. Look at this, they look brand new again. My daughter is gonna be so excited that her shoes look just as clean as the first day of school. I mean, and look at the befores and afters. You can hardly believe that it is the same shoe. The last thing I'm gonna do is just let it dry. You can leave it inside, but I recommend putting it outside and let the sun dry it. That will dry it quicker and the sun has some bleaching properties as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Now earlier I mentioned that we've been starting to do some extreme cleaning. Recently we went and cleaned a young girl's bedroom. This sweet 11 year old girl was an absolute princess. But unlike Cinderella, she was not very good at keeping her bedroom clean. But like Cinderella, she had some very special little friends in her bedroom little mice. But unfortunately, they were not the friendly kind that sang and helped her clean. They actually infested and destroyed her bedroom. But we went over, we helped her clean it up. It's a great video. I recommend that you check it out and I will link to that right here. Click on that right here and I will see you over there.